guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Felicia. Everybody calls me Flick. In today's video, I have a new palette to play with. You can tell, you know what it is already because you read the title. Um, but it is the new P. Louise A World of Wonder palette. Sorry, no, A World Full of Wonder, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is it. It is um, one of the ones that has a drawer. Uh, it, it's beautiful. Sorry, it is. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I got on with the palette, how I did the look, some swatches, uh, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back. So, we have the world full of wonder palette this is beautiful uh, i did an unboxing for the budget box yesterday i don't know if you'll be able to see but look at those uh crystals they change color <laughs> i didn't realize i did that at first because i literally tapped it on and off so quickly um that all i saw was the red color so uh yeah let's open it up i'll show you what it looks like this is one of the huge palettes I know a lot of people don't like the bulky packaging. Honestly, I don't mind it too much. Um, but this is the top. And then it's got the drawer that pulls out. Do you know what? I'm actually going you know, to hold it there. And that is the bottom. So you can see the top is more kind of warm toned, almost pinky purples. And the bottom is much more cool toned um, with more blue tone and a couple of blue shades. Um, I kind of want to use a mix of both and i think i want to do like a sharp winged out look or at least i want to try um yeah i think that's what i want to do, I want to do that? yeah i'm just debating whether or not to put tape on do i put tape on Nah, we'll go without the tape. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to hold this up every time uh, I dip into a shade. I will get a picture of it or take a picture of it either or. And I will put it up on the screen with the shades I'm using. Um, but yeah, I'm going to prime with my P. Louise base in number two. Nothing new there. But yeah, I was so excited for this palette because this was sneak peek last year, like before Christmas. And we are waiting and waiting and waiting for it. And yeah, the unboxing for this would have gone up by now. I filmed it yesterday with the intention of uploading it last night. But unfortunately, YouTube kept crashing on my tablet. Um, and I gave up. It got to like nine o'clock. I was like, well, it's far too late to upload this now. So we'll leave it and it's going up tonight. But there we go. Just bring it down a little bit, I think. Yeah, cool. Got to try and be careful that I don't end up dipping the rest of that on my jeans. Uh, let me change the battery because it's about to die. <whistles> Zoom in. Okay. So let's open this up. Move that over. I want to use a mix of both. So my plan. I'm gonna do a cut crease. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll try and remember to say what brushes I'm using. I'm taking my PC39 and from the bottom row going to go in with yeah, set free which is first shade on the bottom row it's like a very deep navy blue um, I'm gonna I don't want to take this too high which I probably already have let's be honest um, but I'm going to wring it out a little bit because I want to gradient it with some of the purples. I 
probably already taken that way too high. I will use like the cut carver and stuff to get my shape. Just kind of wing it out a little bit more towards the tail of my brow. Then take PC38 and I'm gonna take Shining which is third one in the middle row. I will say, I love the formulation of these shadows. Like so far, this two shades in, the formula is just as good as the other palettes that I own. And I own a lot of P. Louise palettes, let's be honest. And take another PC38. I want to dip into one of the ones on the top row. So add to that to making magic. See, that's more of a pinky tone. Again, I am going to cut the crease. So this bit at the moment doesn't necessarily have to be neat because a lot of it's going to probably disappear anyway. Take a little bit more of that Stay Shining shade. And then let's take that brush, that brush. Okay, so I've got, I'll take this one first. So this is my P. Louise 198 brush. And I'm going to go in with mm, Picturesque. And I'm going to take that all over that end section. I will go over that deep shade again in a minute and just bring it back a bit because obviously it has mostly been taken over by that more pastel shade, which is good because that obviously shows that that pastel shade has some oomph to it, which we like. And then I'm going to take Visualize and do the same over this middle section. I like these colours. Okay, and then I'm going to take... Which... Going global. For this section. Okay, so... I should have done that like that. Okay. So I'm going to keep these three brushes in that hand. And then I'm going to go back in with those deeper shades. So set free, shining, and making magic. So I'm going to literally just dip in once and just go back over. And more we'll buff it in. And that's why I don't completely lose that depth between that and the light one It'll kind of blend the two together a bit on the edge instead of using an in-between shade which I should probably do but that is not the plan today because I don't have a lot of lid space is it bad that I'm using the magnified mirror which is like five times magnified and I still can't see myself properly. Yeah, 
I'm going to ring and book my eye test. <laughs> So that's how that's looking right now. I put all of these down and get the cut carver out. Nope, that's brow bone. That's the cut carver. Okay. So I'll take another 7072 brush and use that to get my shape with this. I will say the cut carver smells amazing. I'm going to use my spatula, I'm going to cover it with a wipe. So I can already see I need to take a little bit more off. I apologise, I'm going to disappear for a second over here. Okay. Well, that's annoying because I kind of screwed that up, but it's fine. It can be. You see where I've kind of done that bit? Oh well. I mean, I could just add that back and just take it away again, but that's a lot of effort that I'm not prepared for right now. Um. Going to use one of my paints. I'm going to use extra spicy, which is the light pink. I'm going to apply a little bit of this just around that bit that I've cut to give a, like, a nice bit of definition. Give that a second to dry down because again I will remove a bit almost to, for it to be a bit more like a graphic liner. I'll just give that a, a second to dry down before I remove it. I think it's gonna look cute. Obviously it looks an absolute mess at the moment, but it will look cute once I've done everything I need to. Just gonna let that do its thing and I'll be back once I've cut around it and we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, I'm back. I've cleaned up the paint and I've put base on the rest of my lid. I really did screw up the shape on it, but oh well. I'm really happy actually I just got a notification that uh, Kerry Kay has just posted her video with this if you don't follow her go and follow her 
Um, so I'm watching her do hers as I'm like finishing mine off. Um, so yeah, time for a shimmer. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shimmers in this. And some of them are just screaming at me. More the ones on the bottom row are kind of life changing and discover all oh, life changing. I almost feel like it needs something underneath it. Oh, should I use another one to go underneath it or? Mm, what's this one? My command. Oh, that's nice. Oh. What about that one? Bucket list. Mm -mm. No, maybe not that one. I think I'm going to use my command, which is this one. And when it focuses, the one in the middle of those two. Not that you can see it properly. I'm not very good at doing this swatch. I haven't actually filmed the swatches yet. Um, I'll try them with a brush. But I do know some of the P. Louise shimmers go on better with like a fluffier brush rather than a dense one. I kind of need a dense one to get it close to the edge of the paint. So let's try on one of these okay so i'm going to take the shade my command let's oh i need to just pat that down a bit more because it's just Okay, that's a very putty-like shade, so that's probably not going to work on this brush. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay, fluffy brushes. Or oh, fluffy air brush, like a packing brush. Let's try this one. Yeah. I've, like, messed up the imprint in the pan. I'm sorry, little genie. This is going to be one of those better-on-your-finger shades. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, little genie in the pan, you've gone completely destroyed that pan. <laughs> I might have to go back in with a liner brush just to neaten up that um yeah i have to do that just to get that shape a little bit cleaner because it's not because of that so where's the smaller version of that brush that one Okay, well that colour on its own is beautiful, but I want to add more. So, I'm going to go back to the other brush I was using, I'm going to dust it off on the brush cleaning towel. And then I'm going to take the shade Life Changing, which is beautiful. We're just going to go straight in with this brush. blue base to it, or a blue reflect shall I say, oh that's so pretty, oh, imagine using that with like dual line for a liner, oh that's pretty, switch to the little brush,
That's cute. That's cute. I like that. I want to almost take that dark blue shade that I used and just kind of bring it back down there to like really like bring it back together. I don't know. I need to do something because obviously I need some liner of some sort. So I will. I don't know. I like it, but something's missing. I don't know. Where's the brush that I used? Paint that one. Uh, I feel like it's missing something and I don't know what. Um, tell you what, where is the cup carver brush that I was using? That one, I think. I'm going to use the cup carver to clean up that wing. This time I'm going to take a, the like flat square end of it. Okay, that's snatched out now. I, it's missing something and I don't know what. I feel like I want to definitely want to bring the blue back in so maybe I'll just build up some blues like around this edge to go into the liner or something what do you think I think that might be a good idea where's that liner brush that I had okay I'll go in with the, that deep shade that I use set free and I'm going to take it on the P. Louise 125 liner brush I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that now I've done it. <laughs> Maybe I'll take like the really, really, really deep shape, which is open your eyes and not actually. Okay, that looks a bit better now. I've lined it a bit. Okay, that's fine. I don't hate it now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to leave that as is before I completely ruin it. Um, mm, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go off and do the other eye, do the rest of my base, and then I'll come back and we'll see where we're at, what we're missing, etc, etc, etc. Okay, I'm back. Everything else is done by my lips. Uh, because I've got the new lipstick palette I want to use. Uh, so I, where I did the blue and I winged it out, I just bought the blue shades underneath my eyes as well. Um, I did use my new blush um, that I finally got to try. Um, this is Strawberry Cream. And then I topped it off with the blush palette and the highlight palette. And I did also use my bronzers as well. So now we are going on to lips. So let's get all the liners. What I am going to do is I'm going to put all of these brushes in a to be cleaned pile. Because that is a lot of brushes. So look at that, I've made some room. So this is the Shut Up and Kiss Me lipstick palette. This is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. I feel like I want to use this one in the bottom. It's got more of a pinky tone to it. So let's find a nice liner that isn't going to be too dark. Um, I think we'll try on the edge. Is that going to be? That's quite a nice light one.
Okay, I'm going to get a lip brush. So yeah, I'm going to take the, the bottom row, the first shade. These haven't got names, by the way. Oh, that's nice. That's light, lighter than I thought. Uh, that being said, blends out really nice. These have almost like a moussey texture to them and they're really soft when they go on. And boy, that looks super light on camera. It's not. Um, maybe I'll take a little bit of the one next to it as well. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Okay, so I've kind of lost the lip liner. I can fix that. But I think that's actually really nice. I really like the formula of the lipstick palette. Zoom me out. So, yeah. This is how it's all looking. Um, I just need to kind of redo my lip liner and get that back. So I might as well do that now and then put my Insta Smiles in. Okay, maybe that wasn't the right shade of lip liner, but it would do. It's not pissing around. And then, let's get my Insta Smiles. Okay, done. Uh, I am actually getting a new set of these. So, one, because I've had some dental work done and two, my teeth have kind of shifted anyway. But um, they contacted me um, and there's some campaign thing coming up. Um, and I believe it's televised. Uh, and they asked, like, you know, are you okay uh, with us using your consent? If so, we'll send over the release forms. Um, and I was like, yeah, no, go for it, happy. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, say thank you. They're giving me a new set. So, I mean, I've had these for like two years now, and they're still going strong. So, I'm happy, more than happy. But I believe the new ones that I'm getting sent, so these are the classics which are like the baseline ones the ones that i'm getting now are the dynamic which are the new i want to say is it middle or top i can't remember if there's three lots or two i know they changed it a bit um but obviously these are the shade bl1 they are bleach like hollywood bleach white um the ones i'm hoping to get will be in the shade a1 which is like if you whitened your teeth a few times like through the dentist that kind of natural whitened white do you know what I mean? Do you know what I, mean? I know what I mean um but yeah this is the final look what do you think I do feel like there is something missing from the eye look um I don't know I mean I love what I've done it looks really pretty but I do feel like there is something missing but I cannot fault the palette. The palette is gorgeous. The colours are good. The formula is brilliant. And considering how hard it is to formulate a good purple, uh, they have done an incredible job. So, yeah, very happy. Love the palette. Um, and it can live happily on the shelf with the rest of my P. Louise palettes. Um, I use, I'll say, the uh, blush, highlight and bronzers as well. The bronzer is the Pick Your Own Pan ones um so yeah i use that i use the new blush and highlight palette i use the lipstick palette um itchy <laughs> foundation is primark airbrush concealer is true skin and hmb i'm really liking that combination at the moment uh well powder is true skin uh but yeah overall i i like the look i think it looks really really pretty um and yeah let me know what you think have you got the palette are you getting the palette the whole collection for this drops on saturday uh this video i'm gonna have to put this up on friday now while i and change the other one to yeah okay this video is gonna go off on friday so it's launching tomorrow <laughs> um let me know are you gonna get the whole collection or anything from the collection there's this palette there's the nude version and there is a brush set as well um 
and a few people did comment on like why another nude palette but when they explained it they said like in all the markets that they sell in some countries there are ingredients that um like aren't allowed obviously we have quite strict standards um within europe and stuff of what is allowed in uh food cosmetics and stuff like that so um other countries have different um like regulations and stuff so some of the uh ingredients and in some of the shades may not be allowed in other countries so that is why they have so many different nude palettes it's so that there is something for everyone um so i was like okay that makes more sense fair enough but this this is beautiful i absolutely love it and i cannot wait to play with it again um but yeah let me know have you got it are you getting it did you get the budget box what did you think um and yeah that's i'm yeah <laughs> sorry i'm happy um but yeah that is me done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please don't forget to like subscribe smash the notification bell leave me a comment down below all of that good stuff my socials are up here they're also going to be linked down below um i will link the palette and whatever else that i've used um and yeah that is me done i now have to go off and do some swatches so you have some swatches to watch at the beginning of this video because i haven't done them yet um and yeah I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.